Hello everybody, welcome back to another cooking show. Today we're going to be making yaki onigiri or grilled rice balls. Now today we're going to be making my mother's version which is using soy sauce. I used to eat a grilled rice ball when I was a child. My grandfather sometimes made us, but he used miso oh. for grilled rice ball. Oh, miso is pretty good too. Um, but today we're making my mother's version. I know a lot of you guys have been asking us to make this grilled rice ball ever since we did that onigiri review, that epic onigiri review where we did have the grilled rice balls. Um, anyway, so that's why we're doing this today. Also, we're sitting down today because we thought you know, we just change it up a bit and it's just easier for us to show you guys how to make rice balls sitting down. So first we're going to start off by making the onigiri. So I have my bowl of rice here, I have a bowl of water here, and I have all my ingredients ready to get started. Put some water on my hand because this is to help prevent the rice from sticking to your hands. Very important, right? Yes, very, very important. Very important. Um, if you don't do this, you're going to get into a lot of trouble and if you put too much water, your rice ball is going to fall apart. And uh, usually we use uh, salt, but uh, in this case, we use soy sauce later. You don't have to put salt on your hand. Exactly. Right. So we're going to put a little bit of rice onto the palm of your hand. Um, it should fit nicely in one hand. You don't want to make it too big, but if it's too small, you can always add more rice. Mm. Of course, you can always take out rice later too. And then um, what I usually do is... I just start molding it a little bit to get the rice, you know, uh, starting to stick together before I add the filling in. Now, as we mentioned, you don't need to put any filling inside. Um, I think that's the traditional way. Um, but my mother likes to put ume, so that's what we're mm. going to do. So it's like this right now. Um, not really completely molded yet. And I'm going to flatten it and put a little well in the center. And I'm going to put a little piece of... Uh, pickled plum umeboshi um, with the seed taken out mm. into the center. You always remove your, the seeds. Do you leave it on? Sometimes. Why? <laughs> why? No why? reason. No reason? Well, I have a reason why I take the seed out <laughs> because I don't want to bite into the seed you know, accidentally. And then I'm going to bring some of the rice into the center to cover up that ume that I just put in. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then I start molding it again. So you just kind of want to um, have the filling approximately in the middle. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. Mm. Okay. And then you want to add um, pretty firm pressure to your rice ball because you're trying to make the kernels stick together. If you don't mold the firmly, uh, it will break yes. uh, during uh, grooming on the frying pan. You can keep it like this. It's round right now. But if you want to make it triangular, you just uh, cup your hand like this and hold the rice ball with your other hand like this. Make your hand like this, put it right on top of the rice ball, uh, right in the center so that it becomes a triangle like that. And you start molding. It should start to resemble a triangle. There you go. That Ooh, is my cute. first onigiri. <laughs> And now Satoshi is going to be making a couple for you guys because he's just going to be adding something sesame. to his. I'm going to add sesame to give a, a good toasted flavor. Mm. Just add sesame seeds into the rice. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. As much as you like. Yes. Okay. And uh, mix, mix evenly. The mix okay. the rice evenly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. And put water on my hand okay and put rice on my hand yeah you know every time i make my onigiri satoshi thinks i'm making them too big he tells me to make them smaller but in the end his onigiri always turns out bigger <laughs> than mine doesn't even make any sense to me my hand is very big you always want me to make mine really tiny and you, you tell me that that's you know the normal way and then yours become like double the size of mine Really? <laughs> yeah. Because I have a big mouth. <laughs> big mouth. <laughs> Hi. 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 We have um, six onigiri in front of us. And we're going to grill them on the frying pan. So we have a frying pan here. 
we're going to be using this. Now, um, if you have a non-stick frying pan, um, you don't need to do this part, but our frying pan really, really sticks. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil like that. Just a little bit of oil. Um, just spread the oil around. You just want a very thin layer of oil. And we're going to uh, just put the onigiri, arrange it around the frying pan. So the heat is on, you can hear it um, starting to crackle because it's cooking the bottom of the, the rice. At this point, I'm going to brush some of the soy sauce on top of the onigiri. Now, just a little bit. Because if you put too much, the rice is going to start falling apart. And we're just going to do this. Um, I like to do it like before I start grilling it completely because that way, the soy sauce has a chance to seep into the rice bar. That will give it some really nice taste. Because remember, we didn't use any salt, so you want this soy sauce taste. Also, you don't want to move the onigiri around too much because if you do, they're going to start falling apart. So this is why we like to start off with a medium low heat um, or else it's going to start burning. So um, about three minutes has passed. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's ready? I think so. You think so? <laughs> All right. So it's time to flip the onigiri over. Yes. I hope it's ready. And I think I it's okay. <laughs> yeah, and I hope they don't break apart. Okay. Yay! Hey. That looks nice. Okay. Okay, that's good. The next one? Yeah, the next one. Mm. Oh, that one is really beautiful. Mm. Yeah, that one is really beautiful. Nice, nice. Yeah. You know, at this point, you know, if your onigiri breaks apart, just turn it into fried rice. <laughs> ah, yay! We did it. Oh. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna brush the top once again. Mm. Well, the bottom. Now the top. Soy sauce to melt. Soy sauce. Yeah. Soy sauce burning smell. What does What does it say? Um. Mm, soy sauce cooking. Soy sauce cooking taste. And cooking smell. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It smells <laughs> really good. It smells really good. I mm. wish you guys can smell this right now. If you guys like those um dangos that they sell at the festivals, the shoyu dangos, and you like that taste, well, this tastes very similar to that. Yaki dango. Yaki dango. Do you add soy sauce around the onigiri rice bowl? Well, you know what? Can I be honest with you? The way my mother does it, okay, mm -hmm. uh, like I said before, she uses the oven. She just uses the grill function in the oven. She doesn't brush on the soy sauce. My mother's all about easy, easy. Um, she just gets the soy sauce like this and she just pours it over the onigiri. Oh, pour over yeah, the onigiri. Yeah, she pours it. Oh, so really? the soy sauce is inside, outside, it's not evenly, you know, basted, but um, of course you don't want to drench it in soy sauce, right? It'll just be too salty. But you just have to like carefully pour it over the onigiri, and then she flips it over. She does the same, and that's it. That's it, and it's really, really delicious and super easy. Okay, so we're gonna grill this for about another three minutes. Um, you you have to just be careful that it's not burning because there's already soy sauce in the bottom. So just be careful of that. Mm. All right, so I think it's ready, and we're gonna turn the rice balls over one more time. There we go. Okay, it's perfect. Yes. So that one looks really good. You know, you see it toasty, mm. toasted. That's perfect. Mm. This one's perfect too. Mm. Oh, inyoi, inyoi da ne. So we flipped it over. You can see how beautiful they look. I'm gonna baste them one more time with soy sauce. Oh, one more time. Mm. Yes. How many times? Um, I like to baste them twice. Oh, yeah. So you have to, um, uh, so we have to flip over again. Yes, we do. Mm, yeah. I see. It tastes better. Yeah. I think this is the part that my mother doesn't like. That's why she just pours it over the whole thing. Ah. She doesn't have to do it, you know, so many times. Mm. You see? No fuss, no muss. Pour and grill. Pour and grill. That's it. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. The longer it cooks, the better it starts to smell. Mmm, 
smells so good. This is how the Japanese people cook、um, corn on the cob as well. When you go to the Japanese festivals, yeah, they don't put butter, they, put, they baste it with soy sauce. So we're going to、uh, plate them.、Mm-hmm. Take this one. Please don't fall apart on me. Okay. Is that okay? There's one. Wow. There we go.、Mm. There we go. Beautiful. And it smells amazing.、Mm. Beautiful and smells amazing. Mm. Mm. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Here、mm. you go. Ja. Whichever you want. That's the one you made. Thank you. Sure. Yes. And I'll take、mm. Sesame Toast. My mother's version. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mmm. The outside is crispy. Mm hmm. Inside、oh, is、yeah. moist. Mm hmm. Mmm. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. Oh my god, I am so, so hungry for another bite of this onigiri. So, we should get this video finished as quick as possible. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Definitely give this a try if you are interested in grilled rice balls. I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna fall in love with these. Thanks for watching, and see you guys soon. Bye! Bye bye.